What is up, you beautiful collectors and action figure fans? Specifically, Batman the Animated Series fans, as well as Batman Beyond, which we are celebrating the 25th anniversary of Batman Beyond, originally hitting the airwaves in 1999, which 25 years ago now, that's making me feel old. <laughs> Not nearly as old as... Bruce Wayne here, but definitely old in general, but I absolutely loved Batman Beyond. It was so fun and such a nice kind of continuation to the world of uh, Batman the Animated Series, where we're introduced to Terry McGinnis, who takes up the mantle of Batman, and much like Alfred was always there to kind of help Bruce Wayne as Batman... Bruce has now taken that role over for Terry, which is fantastic. And I think that it was very smart. And Batman Beyond is a very beloved franchise. And I would absolutely, I know a lot of people feel this way. And I've said it for, I don't even know how long. For, for Since before we got Michael Keaton coming back in the Flash movie, I always thought it would be amazing to have a, Bat, a Batman Beyond movie with a new person playing Terry McGinnis, obviously, but Michael Keaton playing Old Man Bruce and kind of in the same universe as um, the Tim Burton Batman. I mean, that would be fantastic. I think a lot of people would love it. I think that it would, leaps and bounds, be better than just about anything that we could get. If, if, if like, Tim Burton were to direct that. I mean, I think it would be phenomenal. Um, but these are two figures that were originally released uh, several, several years ago when, when DC Collectibles was doing them. Um, uh, but what's interesting is when they did do it, it was a three-pack set, which included Batman, Bruce Wayne, and Ace, which is Bruce Wayne's kind of a guard dog for the most part. Now what McFarlane Toys has decided to do is split them up. Um, I, I mean, I, I think that keeping them as a three-pack would have been fine. Um, mostly because most people are going to want Batman and Bruce Wayne. And if you want Bruce Wayne, you're probably going to want a Batman. Um, so it seems kind of weird to split them up. And the thing that's also kind of weird is... This was a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. It's a, it's a gold label, uh, but originally, and I think it even says like down there, um, San Diego Comic-Con. No, it's not going to focus on that. Um, but the only way to get this, like as of right now, is through San Diego Comic-Con. Batman was also available at San Diego Comic-Con. Um, again, gold label, which means that these are, I, I think, like going to be exclusives or something like that. But interestingly enough, this sticker here uh, was not on the San Diego Comic-Con release of this. Um, so we're, we're more than likely going to be getting these at retail. I mean, th this, obvious, this, this was sold at retail. This uh, I had to buy from somebody that went to Comic-Con, but... I can't believe that they're not going to release that at retail. Um, it just doesn't make sense that you would do him and not him. So I got to believe that they're going to. Hopefully it makes it a little bit easier to get your hands on this guy. Because this guy can run usually around $60 or so. Um, I actually found found a uh, seller on Mercari. Mercari? I never can say that right. Um, with a good price, and, and, and I was able to pick it up. So I'm very excited to have them because I never had them when they first came out. Now, this review is not going to be for both of these. I'm going to split these up. But as I said, originally these were in a it, like a whole pack kind of thing. Uh, but I am going to focus primarily on... Bruce. Now, nah, let's do Batman. Let's do Batman first uh, because... Why not? Right? You know, I mean, that that would be fun. Actually, you know what? No, forget you. I've changed my mind. We're going to go with Bruce Wayne. Uh, voiced by the absolutely iconic Kevin Conroy. Much like Batman and Bruce Wayne had been done 
through all of the Batman animated series and a lot of extra stuff as well. For the package, as you can see, very similar to what we got with the um, uh, the McFarlane ones. You got the DC Direct uh, logo right down there. Bruce Wayne and Ace. Got Batman, the anim er, uh, Batman Beyond right there. Love that logo as well. Come around to the back and you can see Bruce Wayne and Ace. Now, Ace, a lot of people, you know... Don't really know much about Ace, but he, he was basically Bruce's, like I said, guard dog, because uh, he's he's an older dude. I mean, he's still he's still Batman, right? I mean, or he's still Bruce Wayne, so he still knows what he's doing, but he's not as feisty as before. Um, I mean, even though I mean he did take on those Jokers in the first episode of uh, Batman Beyond, but Ace is a great kind of companion. For him, uh, he lives by himself now, and he's there, he guards things. Uh, but you got the accessories, you got all of his hands, including like some like are those karate chopping ones. I don't even know. No, those aren't karate chopping. He's got like this hand holding thing, or like we're I don't know, who knows. But for the package on this guy, that's about it. So without further ado, boys and girls, let's get Bruce Wayne out here and see how cool he actually is. And here we have Bruce Wayne as he appears in the Batman Beyond series, open up and out of its packaging. And I am absolutely over the moon with this. This is such a terrific, terrific figure. Again, uh, a lot of the credit has to go to the DC Collectibles team um, with their DC Direct line. These figures were designed by them. And McFarlane... It's just getting a lot of credit because they're re-releasing them. So I'm, I'm definitely going to give props to them for it. But the, the DC Collectibles line, the, the, that team with DC Direct, did an amazing job in terms of recreating how these figures looked on screen. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and Bruce Wayne here is no exception. Now... Interestingly enough, all the figures that I've seen, for the most part, that have been re-releases, have not come with um, the, the the stand form. Uh, they've replaced those, and then they started giving us collector cards. And you do still get the collector card with this. Uh, you got Bruce, you got Ace right there, come around to the back. Talks about how Bruce Wayne is basically training the new Batman, which realistically... Who could train a new Batman other than the old Batman? So you do get a collector card, but you also get this display stand. Now, the difference is uh, this is all black, and it's got this little um, springy C-clip kind of thing right here. Uh, it also doesn't really lock anywhere. It just kind of slides up and down willy-nilly. So I, I would imagine that that just kind of helps to kind of lock it in a place. But... You got a little post right here, plugs in. Uh, the difference, though, is that these display bases on the uh, the original releases were all white. Um, they had a clear stand. Uh, they didn't have this. It was literally two prongs that were individually articulated. So you could have one like that, one like that, you know, and move it around, things like that. That sucked. This, at least, you know, with the little springy section here, will keep that around, Um I don't like how that just kind of slides all over the place. Get that in there. But you can't really tighten it or anything. Um, but the base, I talked about this before, had like 360 degree angles of the character itself. I kind of like these just being black, to be honest. Because for me, I got a couple of them in my display because some figures are not easy to stand. Batman, for example, is not an easy figure to stand because his feet are very narrow. He's got a very low... Um, or he's got a very high upper body kind of center of gravity. You know, with little tiny feet, it makes them kind of top heavy. So they wobble a, a, around a lot, especially if the ankle joints aren't very secure or, or stiff. Um, but like for, for that one, I, I'm, I, I don't remember which figure. It, it, I think it's like um, Commissioner Gordon's base that I'm using, but he's on it. So I kind of like these. Um, as you can see, Bruce here does not need this, so I'm more than likely just going to recycle this to use with another figure and get those white ones out of the um, the display. But 
for the figure itself, again, absolutely amazing. Let me get angled properly. Actually, I'm kind of like at this weird upper angle. Uh, now, in addition to the, the two fisted hands that are on him, he comes with several different um, kind of open hands that are, are kind of like, oh, that's a holding hand, that, that's a fisted hand. Um, it, it's almost like they're designed to hold things, except he doesn't come with anything to hold. And then some of them are done like this, where maybe it's designed to kind of be petting ace. I, I don't know. Uh, but you do get different hands for that. You also get a right and left hand that uh, has the little circle thing on there, which works perfectly. He always used it in this hand. Um, but you can just very easily slide this in. If I, if I can. Here, let's go. And um, what, what am I even doing? Come on. There you go. Get that down like that. And then I'll be able to put that in there. And um, you, obviously, you can have him hold this cane, which is really nice. You've got this very nice wide section right here. So it grips it very well. you got like a little cushiony. Well, it's not a cushiony thing. But like a lot of canes have a little rubber thing at the bottom. So you got something like that. So you got to have him with his cane. I mean, that's just the way it is i mean he always walked around with it i mean after years of constantly fighting the penguin um the joker um who else everybody everybody under the sun you know he's going to need help with his cane um so something like that is awesome let's see maybe maybe do it like this i don't know i'm gonna i'm gonna have to go back and rewatch to see how he does actually hold this cane but you can see he can do that very very nicely and that actually kind of that that works perfect absolutely perfect and really does kind of complete the look for bruce wayne uh but the the big accessory that it comes with is ace which this is extremely well done i'm very happy with how this turned out great detail on here you got a very nice black color throughout the entire thing very pointy eyes you or pointy ears he's got his collar with there or that just looks abs it, it looks spot on the one part that i would say um it, you know in terms of the paint that they didn't get right are going to be his eyes um in the cartoon he didn't have like all white eyes like that uh he had very black eyes but you could see the pupils of them and i'm trying to yeah there's oh well does he actually have pupils? He actually does have pupils. At the very, very top. You can see them. Kind of looking. Am I crazy? I'm, 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 no, there's like pupils right there. Which, that's really cool. I never noticed that. Um, to be totally honest with you. Um, but his eyes should be like the other way around. His eyes were very black. And then he had very white pupils. So, that's a little bit off, but great detail all the way around in general on it. It's very angular, very much in keeping with that like Art Deco style that uh, Batman Animated and Batman Beyond had. Really very nice and a good size. You can see that it scales perfectly with uh, with uh, Bruce right here, which is very nice. Articulation-wise, the head is on... Uh, is it a ball joint or is it a... Maybe it's a ball joint, yeah. So you can get, you know, some emoting left and right, um, which is hilarious. Left, right, up, down, all that stuff. The uh, the front legs can move forward. They can move back. Same thing with the back legs. So you can maybe get them walking. Except it's not going to really work all that well. Let's see. No, he's going to fall. Uh, and then the tail can um, slightly... Like it, feel like it's kind of on a ball joint, but it it does just kind of move left and right for the most part. Uh, you can't really get any other poses for him. Um, I guess I'm gonna be very careful with this tail because I don't want anything to happen to it. I mean, I guess you could do something. No, the tail's still in the way. Um, I guess. You can kind of get him to s kind of sit. No, not really. <laughs> not 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 very well at all. Uh, but for the most part, Ace should be standing and guarding. And that works perfect. I think that that is absolutely fantastic. 
Now, for Bruce, um, obviously, Bruce is going to be uh, an older representation of himself. And they nailed it with the likeness coming in to take a close look at that head sculpt. Fantastic detail on there. Nice paint applications. Uh, I want to say that this is a later look for him. Uh, like the black around his eyes, I feel, was like a later look than the earlier versions in the in the series but it's been a while since i've actually watched it but amazing amazing look on that guy i mean definitely looks like bruce he you know he's got that very stern very noticeable chin look going on there you can see the uh, the hairline is receding <laughs> he's got his black suit which is really very nice you got the little gray um turtleneck sort of thing underneath but all the way around, very simplistic in terms of the design and look for this guy. Just the simple black, I don't even know if you would say suit. It, it's a futuristic looking suit of sorts. But absolutely spectacular looking in terms of the um, the recreation to the online, or not the online, but the um, on-screen representation of him. Uh, articulation was, I really like what they did with the neck. You can see that you can get him looking, he's got this hunch thing going on here, but you got this big joint here, so you can get him looking left and right very well. I mean, like it goes like that, but also it like tilts like that. So he can get a lot of range of motion, not as much up, good at range down, but I mean, that is fantastic. Shoulders here are on the very classic pin hinge joints. So you can rotate that all the way around. Uh, this is a softer rubbery material. So you can see that it flexes as you move that arm around. You're not going to, you don't need, I, I always find it funny when people complain about the posability with some figures. When you're, you're talking to a man that's, I don't even know how old he's supposed to be in this, but the, in his 80s or something, or I don't know, 70s, 80s, I don't know. Um, you don't need a, a tremendous amount of like crazy poses that you can do you know but you know all the articulation is still there uh he does have a waist i don't really feel like i don't think he's got a, a, a ball joint there but he does have a swivel there so that's that's nice and then the legs move forward they move back uh this does kind of get in the way but again he's an old man he's not going to be running and doing crazy kicks and things like that even when we saw him in that, that very first episode, it was a younger version of him. And then he retired, and that's when Terry McGinnis comes into it. So he was in his 60s when he was fighting. And that, you know, I don't even know. I mean, he was definitely older. Um, this is an even older version of him, though. Uh, you have the bend at the knee. The ankles do go left and right. I feel like there's, like, some ball jointedness there because it kind of wiggles a little. But I'm not going to, like force very pointy toes but absolutely fantastic and then of course the cane you, you you have to have the cane because that's how we always kind of got around and that is just an iconic look for for bruce from um batman beyond i mean this is absolutely what i would want in this figure and then you got him with ace there so this is a in my opinion, a perfect figure. I, I can't think of anything really wrong with it, to be totally honest. Uh, and I love the fact that, again, McFarlane is re-releasing these and giving them to us again. And especially in a different type of capacity. As I talked about, this was technically a three-pack. Um, three, if you... If you count ace as being one but realistically i'm mean, like there, there's not a lot of articulation in this guy so i can't really say he's a figure to me he's more of an accessory than anything um but terry as batman bruce here i mean is absolutely phenomenal uh and i love the fact that we are able to get these now individually as previously we weren't able to you had to buy that pack now again as i talked about i think that People were going to want that pack regardless, just because if you're going to want Terry McGinnis as Batman, you're going to want Bruce Wayne as his, um, you know, mentor of sorts. So it's like, I feel like they could have got away with releasing that pack again and it would have sold just as well. Um, but splitting it up, you know, makes sense. It probably also allows them to get more money for it, but whatever. Um, 
But it's not like it's a situation where it's Alfred and you had to buy a very expensive Batcave to be able to get these figures. You know, that original release probably, I don't, I don't even remember. I mean, if these figures are running $25 each, $25, $30, you know, that original set was like maybe $50, $60, I don't remember. But, you know, now can easily go for $300 or something astronomically stupid. Uh, so I love the fact that they're re-releasing these in any capacity because it allows me, who never got them before, the opportunity to get them. So very excited about that. Uh, I Like I said, I don't know necessarily why they decided to include this. I know that um, the uh, the Batman figure comes with one of these as well, uh, but also his design is very much like a lot of those uh, DC Direct, DC collectible figures, you know, with the very small feet large upper body for very top heavy sort of thing so um i i just i mean honestly it's like i, I don't know why they would have you know not included these with the other one so i don't know um it works i like it perfectly fine uh as i said as of right now and, and even the package said that this was a san diego comic-con exclusive and i i want to i want to bring your attention to to this guy as well because this actually does say that it is a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive as well, except it's got this sticker on here, which is the retail version of it. So I don't know if they're just taking these exact same figures, slapping a sticker on there and selling those, but who knows. But as of right now, Bruce and Ace were San Diego Comic-Con exclusives. Hopefully they do release them in terms of mass release so that everybody can get them. Um, either way, He's out there, he's available, he's cheaper to get now than before. So if you'd like to pick him up, online is the best place to kind of find him right now. Just be very cautious of what you're doing with eBay, Macari, and things of that nature. And just know that the, the I can't believe that they wouldn't eventually put this guy in a mass retail kind of situation. But there's there have been times where, you know, toy companies have, you know, released figures for the first time at san diego comic-con you know like get get this figure first at san diego comic-con like you know and then get them later on in retail so a lot of companies do that kind of stuff they do the releases um as an exclusive at the convention and then the other ones come out later on so um hopefully that's the case with this but there you go guys there's my look at the relatively new bruce wayne with ace as a part of the McFarland Toys DC Direct line, whatever you want to call it. Definitely recommend picking them up. If you guys enjoyed the video, I would appreciate it also. If you would hit that thumbs up button, let me know that you like that you like the video. Um, <clears throat> and uh, have been enjoying Batman Week. This is uh, the second one in Batman Week. The next one's going to be Batman, so stay tuned for that. But until next time, guys, this has been Optobotamus, always saying to remember that the real trouble with the world is that too many people grow up. Thank you for tuning in, and until next time, I'll talk to you later.